Brno is an important center of scientific research in Central Europe. Numerous research institutes of the Academy of Sciences of the Czech Republic are also represented here. In the Institute of Physics of Materials, panel of experts with Professor Ivo Dlouhi has carried out scientific research in brittle fracture group of the ASCR. The main purpose of scientific research is advanced glass-based composite materials. The major effort is put on developing new materials that are suitable for bone replacement, having a bioactive character with sufficient mechanical resistance. The project coordinator is Polytechnic University of Turin. At the Institute of Physics of Materials, Academy of Sciences of the Czech Republic, is focused on the research of relation between material microstructure and material properties, mainly mechanical. Uh, the group of Professor Dlouhi is solving now an interesting project which is focused on glass uh, composite materials. Uh, this material has a disadvantage, namely they are not enough tough. Our task is to try to increase uh, the toughness of glass materials. In the future, we would like to develop a material which will be usable for implants for human body. What methods were necessary to use in order to obtain the initial results? All the project uh, Gracharko is based uh, on long-term collaboration of uh, several scientists, uh, Professor Boccaccini from University of Erlangen, uh, Professor Monica Ferraris uh, from Politecnico di Torino, Thanks to support of uh, Professor Boccaccini, he is dealing with uh, uh, fabrication procedures and preparation of the material and uh, we have been focused on development of uh, tensile test of this uh, ceramic uh, forms with uh, open porosity. Uh, this is a very unique test uh, that enables to uh, investigate uh, strength properties, deformation properties and uh, behavior of the foam material uh, during uh, tensile testing. The Institute of Physics of Materials provides excellent conditions for young scientists and enables them actively participate in scientific research. I come from Italy and I started to work here in Czech Republic since uh, uh, eight months in the framework of this uh, glass circle project, which is a collaborative project about uh, glass ceramic materials. Uh, my main field of investigation are, uh, uh, is the um, improvement of mechanical properties of um, uh, porous glass scaffolds for uh, bone substitution application. Uh, so far we tried different techniques to, to do so. Uh, for instance, like applying some polymeric coatings on the scaffolds or to disperse some reinforcing phase uh, within the glass matrix. And up to now we already uh, achieved some interesting results, but studies are still ongoing in order to obtain some very remarkable results. When it will be possible to practically use the obtained results? So it is expected that uh, the bioglass uh, form will be used uh, for uh, tissue engineering applications. Uh, and uh, it is expected uh, that it will be used for bone substitution. Uh, it is needed to increase uh, the strength and also to uh, apply a biocompatible coating, polymer coating on this material. And this is topic which is uh, followed by Luca Bertola. What are the aims that should be focused on in the future? Uh, you know, materials are used for all our products. So, the development of new materials, uh, the knowledge of their properties is extremely important. One of the main ideas of uh, Academy of Sciences is also to perform research uh, in this direction, so to develop new, high advanced materials. Current research has been financially supported by the European research project Marie Curie Actions in the seventh framework program. The project is called Glacerko, Glass and Ceramic Composites for High Technology Applications Initial Training Network. In these days, Professor Dlouhi and his team aims at getting a follow-up grant within the European program people and also calls for the cooperation with other foreign institutes in Italy, France and Great Britain.